Roman power is threatened. The Carthaginian general Hannibal has crossed the Alps into Italy. His successes have incited factions in Syracuse to break the city's long-standing alliance with Rome, an alliance formed with the defeat of Pyrrhus. Though no general of Syracuse compares to Hannibal, take care when besieging that wealthy city. The great engineer and inventor Archimedes has constructed wondrous methods of defense against both land and sea attacks. Although he is an advisor to Rome's enemies, he must be captured alive. Take Syracuse, but preserve the life of Archimedes, as he will be useful to us. Alrighty folks, hello and welcome back to the Rise of Rome campaign. We are on Scenario 3, the Siege of Syracuse. So this is a pretty straightforward mission, in principle. You just need to place 10 Roman Legion units in the Syracuse Forum, which is the area flagged, and do not kill Archimedes, the priest. However, in practice, this mission is actually really challenging. Enemy Red will absolutely just try to overwhelm you with their insane fleet. So we have a cheeky cheeky for this particular mission. Let's begin. Alright, first things first, we want to focus on food and wood. Granary here. Alright, so, first things first with this mission, we need to uh, grab all of our navy. We want to go down to the bottom left of the map. Our main target are these fire galleys. Triums. We are actually going to focus down the enemy docks. The game was very kind to give us a big enough fleet to do this. I'm sure it wasn't what they was intended for. But enemy red basically is the big the big problem. We will deal with brown in a sec. Brown is basically how the enemy's getting their gold, or at least one of their methods through trade. So we need to avoid all the mirror towers. We have a ridiculous range, do over a hundred damage, and literally one shot all the catapult triems, which is uh, what we need to pull this strategy off. So what we're doing is basically just pulling out the enemy from their defensive position. Now we do need to be quick, so there's going to be a lot of focus fire going on. I'm going to waste our time with their boats. What we want to do is focus down the dock. The enemy doesn't rebuild buildings in this mission. Just something we'll take full advantage of. So red's the main one. Yellow's a little bonus. And now red only has what fleet is already out on the map. Honestly, losing the entire fleet here is legitimately worth. We are going to build a third dock here. Our upgrade. It's very heavily on wood right now. These guys took care of the lion.
Wipe out brown. So we need to build some houses. Now we can uh, build up our forces in peace. Ordinarily Red would be constantly attacking us and hounding us the entire game. But that threat has been dealt with. So now we can build up our fleet of Triums and Catapult Triums at our leisure. And that is honestly the hard part of this mission. The rest is actually pretty straightforward. Just need to gather resources. Want to get some gold. And build up a navy large enough basically to deal with all of the, uh, the enemy defences around this area. Now the enemy does still have quite a few um, fire triums on the map. So we do need to be mindful of that. We do also need to start transitioning to farm eco. Not quite sure where they were going. Chasing fishing boats, no doubt. Uh, these boats. So we don't have a huge amount of gold but one of the benefits of taking the other base down is that we've actually got some gold here that we can grab as well if we need to. Amazing how inaccurate these things are until you get the upgrade. I'm talking of, you probably should build a government centre. Let's grab this so we can start building the extra legionnaires. about um, population now and what people are doing since we're basically at pop cap we just need to grab this upgrade and this one that one we don't need we don't need the juggernaut upgrade I think it's a complete waste of money just gives you a slightly better range but so what
Actually, don't need two transport boats, just the one. Upgrade that probably is worth grabbing, however, is the market. Increase the uh, wood gather rates. Time to start taking down some enemies. These mirror towers are literally the worst. Problem is, they look exactly the same as the ballista towers as well. <laughs> and they got double the health of a ballista tower. The range of 17, which is the longest range in the game, as far as I'm aware. So this is going to be the route that our uh, legionnaires take, so we need to clear it out. There is also a mirror tower there that we need to be careful of. And it can just one-shot some stuff. As always, that is the other benefit of having juggernauts. Juggernauts do have more health, so they can uh, actually tank a, a single shot from the mirror towers, but there's not that many of them. And it's a hell of an expense. 1300, 700. One I can ill afford. Grabbing this as soon as you can. We could travel all the way around and avoid this, but I'm just going to take it out. Make sure they target my catapult 3Ms, which is unfortunate. Four more boys. I'm actually going to overbuild. Should be pretty straightforward from here on out, to be fair. Up to nine. Probably is worth grabbing a few more just to be on the safe side. So we're gonna call some workers shortly.
In fact, we don't need any more boats now. Do hybrids to take care of these bus towers, these fishing boats, catapults. Do you need to take care of that um, catapult on the other side? It's mean going through another thing, however. Mirror tower. I didn't even see that. Sometimes you can do more with one than you can with ten. Logic with this game. Few more. We'll mosey on over. Then this bad boy mission. I think it's always worth just picking up a few more than just ten, just to be on the safe side. Just in case you lose one or two. Call it a contingency plan, if you will. These guys over here, and they can deal with any archers or whatever. Yeah, that's pretty much all she wrote for this mission. Pretty straightforward, all things considered. Once you take care of Brad's dock, at least. The victory over Syracuse reminds the Greeks of Sicily that Rome will punish treachery. Hannibal's efforts to spread rebellion have failed, and his rampage through Italy has been slowed. 
Now, spies tell the Senate that Hannibal has called for reinforcements. Alrighty, folks. Well, that'll right about do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.